Today, we are fishing an urban creek in the middle of the city. This is a natural creek that branches off a of main river in South Georgia. We've caught many of good fish here in the past, so let's see what we can get on today. All right, boys, we're out here at this urban canal in this downtown city in Georgia. It's been so long since I've fished some canals and I am super excited about it today. I actually have a special guest in the video. We're gonna go back and rig up our poles, but this is the canal that we're gonna be fishing. This actually goes a long way and there's a couple different sections of this canal. We've caught a lot of fish here in the past and I haven't fished it in about four years. So I'm excited to see what we end up pulling out of here. But there are some really big bass in this canal. All right, boys, we're about to get rigged up. Before we do that, what's going on, a -Dub? What's up? Been a while since you've been on the channel, man. We're here now, that's what matters. Yes, sir. So me and A-Dub are about to get after it. We're gonna go ahead and rig up our poles and just get the fishing and hopefully we can catch some big fish today. I have some high hopes for this. We've caught some in the past, like I said. Before we get deeper into this video, only 27% of y'all watching these videos are actually subscribed. So if you could take the time, hit the subscribe button. It really helps the channel. I'd appreciate it. I'm gonna put me on a Strike King Rage Bug. This is one of my favorite crawls. Got a feeling Noah's gonna throw one of these. But this right here is gonna catch me a bass. Beautiful. Oh, sorry dude, sneezed about a hundred times. I don't know what just happened to me. He's allergic. I'm allergic to you, dude. So what you got going? Okay. Rage bug. I like that. So you got a rage bug on a Texas rig. I think I'm gonna throw the rage crawl. I called it. And uh, maybe, oh. we, maybe we bring some Sankos with us too, you know? We're gonna walk away down this canal, guys, so. Do we need to bring the backpack? Possibly, possibly bring the back sack. You know, like Dora? Backpack, backpack. Well, I think we're good to go, boys. I think it's about time to start casting and see what we can catch. Starting off down here, I'm throwing the Mach 1 combo today. We're both throwing a Texas rig for the reason that the area we are fishing is very, very thick cover. And you could probably get away with throwing something like a frog, maybe. Maybe a wacky rig, something like that, but... In the water like this, you really need something that's going to be kind of weedless that you can fish the structure really good. All right, boys, let's get this started and see what we can do. Hopefully we'll catch some freaking toads today. We've done really well in canal videos in the past, and it's just been honestly so long since we filmed any, and uh, I'm pretty pumped about it. So it's got a good bit of wood in this canal, a lot of vegetation on the bank as well. And I think our prime bait's just gonna be a Texas rig today. We might switch up to something, maybe a spinnerbait or a chatterbait, but to be honest, we're kind of throwing off at an angle. This canal is a little low and it's down in a hole. So I think our best option's more than likely a Texas rig. If we hook a really big bass, it might be a little hard for us to get them up on the bank. Ooh. I kind of feel like a bite. There's just a lot of cover. Yeah, we're just gonna hunt around and see what we can do. If they're not buying in this canal, there's some other canals in the city as well that we can hit. If you guys wanna see some more of the urban videos or just canal videos in general, let us know because we'd love to fil film some more for y'all. I'm just trying to film some different stuff. It's been a minute since we filmed just like a pure fishing video too. So any ideas you have, please drop them down below. We listen to you. Oh, I thought I had a bite. It was just something on the bottom. <laughs> we do have some nice pipes right here. Oh, dude, I watched him eat it. <laughs> right in front of that pipe. Yeah, I watched him swirl on it. That was crazy. Yeah, I didn't even know that pipe was there. We haven't even been fishing for five minutes. That was probably five casts. <laughs> A-Dub's already on board. That was a really good bite, too. Wow. Not a bad fish. Yeah, he isn't He's bad. Really not bad. He's Chunky. nice and healthy, so. Look at that little spot on the bottom of him. You see that? It's like a little scar mark. Weird. Wow. Pretty dude. Good job. Yeah. Yeah, that's a oh, good I start. Oh, I see it now. Yeah. I never even noticed that. He bite it good? Yeah, dude, he smoked it. Slammed it? Smoked it. You know how these like river fish and canal fish yeah, are, dude? They, they hammer it. I gotta give him a little gentle toss down here. And he's good to go. First one of the day, let's go. You see that tree right there? It looks crazy. Yeah. I flipped over there. Yeah. 
and then I was like, oh, there's a pipe right here. I was like, this pipe looks really good. Then I had a piece of grass on my line, so I popped it. And when I did, all I could see was a shadow. I was like, oh, dude. Yeah. Then he took it and started running with it. It's like a huge concrete slab right here. Should be a fish on that. Like, you see these concrete blocks? There's literally a piece 10 times the side of that size of that right there in the water. Oh, no. I think it was a really small bass, or it might have been a, a warmouth or something. Dude, there's a huge fish. I don't know what that is, but I just saw his tail. He's right here underwater. I don't even know what that was, boys. Like, something very massive. If that was a bass, it was definitely seven, eight pounds. I don't think that it was a bass. It almost looked like some sort of a carp, but its tail was like super light too. It's kind of weird looking. I'm just trying to make a little cast down parallel with this bank. Got him. Yes, sir. <laughs> I knew it. I figured out what they're doing. They're sitting right here on this close bank. That's exactly what they're doing. That one is definitely not as good as that last one I just had, but we'll take it. They're nice little healthy fish. They're just not super big. I will say, man, they are biting really good in here. Like when you get a bite, it's a good bite. That, that bite I just had right here at my feet before I caught that one, it wasn't a great bite, but I think it was a really small fish and it might not have even been a bass because it kind of was biting like a smaller panfish would. But the two fish that I actually have caught, they both nailed it. They pick it up, hit it good, and then they start running with it. It's a carp, dude, and it's huge. Oh, look at it. I don't know if you guys saw that, but those are massive carp. If you guys want us to come back out here and try to catch some of them carp, let us know. I think we could as long as we had some bread. I mean, that thing was gigantic and I saw another one swimming over there. So there's definitely a good bit in this canal. If you guys would like to see something like that, let me know. That doesn't mean that we don't have to like not throw artificial baits. There's just something else we could bring out with us to try to maximize the type of fish we can catch. Oh, that's a bite. That was not a bass. That was not a bass. Got you a small one? Yeah, I've caught two. I've had four bites, but two of the four bites the two that i didn't catch i'm pretty sure that they were warm out dude the carp that i saw were really? like fat yeah i saw like this crazy looking tail and then all of a sudden i saw one right in front of me and dude it's probably 40 pounds oh, wow. yeah all right guys we're gonna walk around this little bridge real quick you coming what? good luck getting the fish up off this but I think it's worth a shot, right? This is as urban as it gets right here. Yeah, this is... <laughs> oh, gosh! Oh, that's a bass. Oh, it's oh, a it's massive a mud, bro. Dude, they might be loaded under the bridge. How are you going to get him up here? I don't know, but he's massive. Yeah, I was about to say I could try to walk him, but we can't get around that. No, there's a huge bridge in the way. That person honking at me? You better, you better calm down, sonny. Calm down. Dude, that's a massive mud. Yeah, it is a big mud. <laughs> right when you were saying this is as urban as it gets, and you're right, dude. Wow. What a sick eat though. Yeah, dude, was, you talk about a mode. bite, Adam. It was like thump. I okay. thought it, I thought it was a pretty good bass at first. What do I do here? I just break it off? I think you need to try to hand line him in. I mean we can give it a shot. I mean I think Bro, that thing is massive, it, bro. bro. You want me to hold your rod? Wait, I think I can. I think my line's strong enough. The problem is re-gripping the line. Here, I can help. I'd say I pull up one, you pull up All one. Right. Oh. <laughs> oh, no way. No way. <laughs> Yo, that is sick, Adam. Oh, we have way too much line out. That is a big mud fish. Dude, that is sick, A-Dub. <laughs> Let's go, dude. <laughs> Well guys, not what we were going for today. We definitely expected to catch a pretty big mud, but that is sick. And we not just right brought here. them up. We brought them up a dang 20 foot drop, bro. Yeah. That's crazy. He weighs like at least five pounds. Yeah. Let me grab them pliers for me. 
Wow, that's sick, boys. Freaking giant mud. Well, you done? <laughs> That'll do it. That, that'll do it. See if you can catch you one. I bet there's more under there. I don't know. I haven't got bit yet, but we'll see. Oops. Uh, sorry, sir. <laughs> <laughs> what do we do about it? What did that guy just say? I, I guess that's what happens when you're in a city, right? People just drive by and yell at you for fun. <laughs> we were getting honked at, and now we're getting yelled at. You know, boys, we're hurting the environment, you know? Quit fishing. You're hurting our ecosystems. All right, that was pretty sick, dude. That was cool. Is your hook still good? It was a little bent out, but I think I I salvaged it a little bit. See? Yeah. It's pretty yeah, it doesn't look too bad. All right, guys, we're gonna rig up this rage crawl again. So if you guys are wondering what color, this is like a black and blue swirl. Pretty sick little color. We're gonna cross the street and keep moving down this canal. What's up, man? <laughs> <laughs> That's dope. Kicking the best TV. Oh, Ada, look at that boil. Oh, that was boil, wasn't it? Uh-huh. Oh, what was that? Is that a frog? Oh, it is. <laughs> look at him go. That man had three hops from here, here to there to get in the water. Oh, dude. <laughs> A-Dub's getting swamped. I haven't had a bass bite yet. It's gonna happen here sooner or later. We still got a lot of canal to fish. I'm just surprised I haven't had at least a bass nibble. That mudfish bite was redonkulous the way he bit it. That was insane. If I would have waited a second, I would have caught that fish, but I got impatient. I saw him swipe it, bro. I see a tiny little bass. There's no way he can eat this stuff. Oh no, they're stacked right here. He just bit my stupid pincher off, bro. Yeah, it was good, man. Really? I saw you go Yes, no, dude, she's been telling me about you. Dude, What's you going right? on, man? I saw you walking out. Like, yeah, oh, that was you driving by? Yeah. Heck yeah, that's cool. Oh, yeah, we'll get bro. a picture for sure. Guys, it's always nice meeting y'all. I was a pretty cool guy. His uh, his girlfriend actually works with, with Tara at her job, and that's kind of funny. It's a crazy coincidence. He was the one who drove by there. That's pretty funny. I guess he just got off work, or he's leaving work going to do something. But if you guys ever see me in public, don't don't be afraid to come say, hey, guys, I, I, I live for that right there. You know, I understand that uh, I would pretty much be nothing without you guys watching these videos and supporting me. You know, without y'all support, kicking their bass wouldn't even be a thing. So I really appreciate each and every single one of y'all. Oh, I might have, that might have been a stick, like a tree limb. Ooh, I just skipped way up under there, boys. That looks good. Oh, God. That was my first bite in a minute. Right on the corner of that bridge. So there's a little piece of metal right next to that concrete. I landed right on that little transition. You got it. Oh no, he came off. Let's see if he'll bite again. Might be loaded on that dang wall. I feel like I kind of stuck him that time. If it's a bass, he probably won't bite again. If it's a mud, he probably will. I don't know what it is though. Hopefully it's a big bass. Just felt like he didn't have it all the way. All right, boys, I think we're gonna head out of here. We kinda wanna get on the other side of this, but this right here is about to our freaking necks. This spot's crazy, boys.
Oh. I got one. Oh no, I don't. I got a dang tree. Dude, I was falling right next to that piling on that bridge. And this thing just started running to the left. I'm like, there's no shot right now. But no, it was a tree, sadly. I'd be sick though if those fish were stacked on these pilings. I mean, this would be a sick little spot. I'll tell you, there's been a few times I've caught a branch like that and something about a branch in the water, it'll start swaying. It just feels and looks like a fish is running with it. it. Almost feels identical. The only thing you don't feel is like a pop, like one bit it. But then again, some of these fish bite weird, so you never know. Uh, everything we fish in here this looks more natural lay downs bunch of grass this looks solid what the f was that that was the weirdest noise bro i did not like that <laughs> i did not like that noise bro all right boys it is the next day and we are coming back out to a different little spot in this canal under this bridge oh froggy froggy adam there's not fish in there <laughs> how do we get across we have to go around that way bro are you kidding me you know i'm going in i got these short legs i just went in Dude, I almost, for some reason, thought that was an alligator. Dude, we could definitely jump right there. <laughs> Swirl. It's bass, bro. I'm about to do it. Adam, you're literally gonna jump and your foot's gonna go through that. I'm, I'm serious. <laughs> Dude, you would've sank all the way up to your knees. <laughs> I right. would tell you to do it, but you're getting in my truck. If we're in your truck, you know? Hope you guys are enjoying the urban adventure so far. It's honestly been a lot of fun filming this video other than us not catching a ton of fish, but we're changing that now. That's why we came out today. Fresh mindset, new conditions, new spots. I think we're gonna get it done. Adam, where are you taking me, dude? The almighty. How did you not sink in that? I'm sinking. Golly. Big gar, big gar. We just ate it. Oh, no way. Okay, well there's something in here. He's right where this thing uh, branches out, you know, just a little runoff, little creek. He's actually still sitting there. I mean, to catch a gar, guys, their mouths are so freaking tough. It's almost dang near impossible to penetrate the hook. I've done it before. He actually chomped down on it though. He's he's just sitting right here. Hey Adam, come here. You right there? Oh yeah. You go eat that thing. Oh, oh, he's chasing it, dude. I haven't seen one get that aggressive in a minute. Dude. That was a bass. Hold on, Adam. Did you stick him? No. Oh. He might eat this. We're in that soft plastic right after. Did you see that? I didn't see him, but I saw. He didn't eat me there. You sure it was a bass? Yes, bro. No way. Told you. Oh, I told you. Go, dude. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, we still got him. Good job. Hey! <laughs> Started to doubt me. I showed you. Well, that was him right there, son. Well, urban highway bass. Yes, sir. And spinner bait. Little puppy. He's a little puppy. Little mini bass and a little mini spinner bait. Yeah. Let's go. Hey, that spinner bait's kind of clutch for this place. <laughs> I can't believe he, he wouldn't bite that, but he bit this. Isn't that crazy? Twice. Usually, if you miss him on a moving bait, you follow up with a little soft plastic. Yeah, usually that works out perfectly. But... He wanted that, man. Yeah. Oh. oh dude, I just got right there. dude, shut up. Right there. Oh, he ate you. Oh. Dude, flip right there. What in the world? What is going on? 
I'm telling you, they might not like that little angry rage crawl. Dude, they don't, man. I'm so confused. I wish I had a micro, like, chatterbait. Dude, they're slamming that little spinnerbait, though. What in the world? You know, if y'all want to see another video of us coming out here with micro baits. That would smoke. Oh, dude, we would kill it. Like a little micro crankbait, too. Oh, man. You need me a little micro trailer hook on the spinnerbait. Did you bring that micro crankbait? Uh, I might have one in my bag, but I don't know how we're going to throw it on the garage. <laughs> yeah. And you, and you won't believe what I was doing, bro. Were you swimming it? Yes, I started reeling it. Yesterday, that's exactly what they were doing. Whenever I would pick it up, they would come chasing after it. Yeah. That's why I started pulling the spinnerbait. I'm not going to lie, bro. I thought this spot was going to be a bust when we first pulled up, but they're loaded down there. This is like the coolest spot so far. We're like under these huge Oh, it's places. sick, dude. I mean, we're right here under the highway. Cars going above us. We're literally like half a mile from downtown city yep sick dude yeah i was working on the bottom nothing started reeling it and he slammed it that's why i was hopping it so much the other day every time i would hop it up to the surface and let it fall back down that's when they would try to eat it yeah i will say guys one bait that's very versatile is the rage crawl though you can reel it on top you can reel it in the middle you can work it on the bottom that's the awesome part about it so it's not like we're stuck without a moving bait we can turn this thing into a moving bait pretty quick You see that? A little blow up. Oh! Oh, he got it! Dude, I am skyrocketing these bass. It's because we're like in a foot of water. Look how small he is. He's tiny. I can't believe he ate that. Yeah, that's wild. Look, he got it good, too. You see where that hook's up? Yeah. Look at that tiny bass. Tiny little creek bass. He's stacked up right here. Dude, we're about to slay him, man. Yeah, right here next to this little feeder creek. That might be why. I don't know. So, guys, this is actually the same creek that we were at yesterday, but the only thing that's different from today is the conditions are slightly different not only are the conditions different but it's actually the water's a lot lower we're at low tide right now and we're obviously in a different spot you know what's crazy is we were going to fish this spot yesterday we just couldn't get over to it we ended up going somewhere else in reality we probably should have just came out here because we're getting bites almost every cast right now and boys don't think they're just small in here i've caught some four and five pounders out of this creek in the past so we're one cast away from hooking a really big one if we can get it in front of them. Did you get bit again? Look, did you just see that one chasing it? Yeah. He had it in the back of his mouth. Or uh, he had the back of it in his mouth. Oh, dude. I'm getting rocked too, bro. They might not all be bass. They could be warm out. I'm mad convinced, dude. We get those freaking uh, micro baits, we would oh, crush we them, bro. Oh my goodness. My question is, how the heck do we get across this little... We're jumping. Jump the river. Adam, I don't... Oh yeah, we can get across right there. Not bad. Right here. <laughs> oh no. Oh, that ain't tough. Hey, there's concrete to your right. Ah! Yeah, I would shoot for that concrete, not where I did. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. I got short legs, buddy. What's crazy is this is going towards where we fished yesterday and we couldn't have a bite, you know? We caught more fish today in the first like 10 minutes than we did the whole time yesterday. <laughs> All right, boys, I think we're gonna call it at this one and we have another side that we wanna fish by this little dam. So we'll catch you guys when we get there. It's a glove. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Nice catch. That's the first. Hook that one good. It's like a hand. There's like a hand in there. Is it slimy? 